Hello, Taurus. This is your monthly tarot reading for this new month of 2023. Remember that this reading does not necessarily have any specific date on it. Whenever this message finds you and whenever you find this message, then this reading will be for you at this given time. You are starting with the dominant energy of the drum roll. You have here the Empress in reverse. So here your dominant energy is you don't see something growing. There's something here that you perhaps you desire or maybe you planted a seed of a manifestation and you're like, when is it going to happen? Why is this not happening? There is some kind of lack of self-nurturing energy as well. Whether you're not nurturing this desire, okay, with positive thoughts, positive feelings, and you're just kind of caught up in why is this happening to me and that's why it's not growing or whether you are not nurturing yourself, okay? There is a lack of nurturing energy, could be Taurus energy for some, does not have to be. But what you what you have here, excuse me, as your challenge position is the Four of Pentacles, okay? So here with the Four of Pentacles, there's something here that you need to release, okay? It's an old way of doing things, an old way of thinking. It's kind of like, you know, you reach that level of stability, whether it's in love, whether it's in career, whether it's in family member, you know, type of situations whatever it is, but you reached a level of security and you said to yourself, okay, that's it. I'm comfortable here and I'm not going to move from this point forward. And the universe is telling you, hey, why are you still playing at level five when you have the potential to play at level 10 and to gain more out of it, okay? So it's all about, you know, you're being challenged right now to step outside of your comfort zone. Now, what you don't see coming you have here is the page of wands, a message, okay? What you don't see coming is that there is a messenger. Somebody here is captivated by you, okay? They wanna capture your attention, but right now this person is looking at you from far away, kind of wondering, okay, how am I gonna say this? You know, when am I gonna deliver this message? So this person right now is considering you. They're considering you for something more. They wanna explore more of you and they wanna to get to know you, okay? So get ready because what you don't see coming is a message that is about to come in, whether you're gonna deliver this message or it's gonna be delivered towards to you, okay? Remember, energies can be in the reverse. Take it as it resonates, whether it's you towards them, them towards you, okay? Now, we're gonna to touch on your past, present, and future energies, okay? So let me just go ahead and lay out these energies here for you. In your recent past, you have here the King of Pentacles in reverse, the Five of Wands, as well as the Two of Wands in reverse. So I do see that in the recent past, there was some kind of level of low self-esteem. Somebody here did not have either the finances, the resources in order to, for them to feel comfortable. And there was a lot of arguing. There was a lot of fighting because of this. Somebody here, their self-esteem was just not all there, okay? Now, again, it could be a lack of resources as well. Now, what I do see that ended up happening here is that you ended up making Making a decision okay now I feel like this decision has to do with your level of happiness that I feel like you are encountering right now so right now in your present energies I do see the ten of Pentacles as well as the eight of cups in reverse and the strength in reverse yes in the past you'd let something go there was a lot of conflict you know uh, conflicting type of energy but presently I feel like you feel financially secure okay you feel financially stable I see that you are very abundant okay however emotionally even though maybe you made a decision to move away from whatever that situation was in the past, there is still something holding you back. Whether you or this other person, there is some emotional bond here that you're still not recovered from or this person has not recovered from. Now, it could be Leo energy, doesn't have to be, but I do see here the strength in reverse. So somebody here doesn't have the strength to cut it off completely when it comes to their emotions, okay? Yes, maybe on a physical level, you're not around that person or you're not around that situation anymore, but emotionally speaking, I feel like it's still something, that, there's still something there. Now, in the future, what you have here is a page of swords, the ace of wands in reverse, as well as a two of swords, okay? So in the future, I feel like somebody here is gonna want to get to know more of you. They're gonna want to find out about you, what you've been up to, who you've been around, or maybe you towards them. There is this element where in the future, somebody here is going to want to either stalk your social media, do more research about you. They want to get to know more about you, okay? It could be this person coming in with a message, doesn't have to be, could be a brand new person. But what I do see here is that in the future, 
you're not going to be able to start something with this person because this person is not ready yet to communicate. They're just doing the research, okay? However, somebody here is not able to start something new with this person in the future because they're still undecided here with the two of swords. There's some kind of level of indecision, somebody here overthinking to the point where they would rather just not do anything at all, okay? Now let's go ahead and clarify. Let's clarify your past, present, and future. In the past, you have here the temperance in reverse, could be Sagittarius energy, Ace of Pentacles in reverse, as well as the lovers in reverse, okay? So it could be Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Gemini as well, doesn't have to be. But what I'm sensing here is that in the past, there was something here that somebody was not patient with, okay? It's almost as if somebody here needed to be patient with the process to get to know you, for you to get to know them, okay? But there was an emotional disconnect. Somebody here made a decision to move away from somebody or something that I feel like you had the key to your heart or you had the key to their heart, okay? Again, finances played a big role in this. Maybe you didn't feel financially stable. Maybe this person didn't feel financially stable. Or maybe there was a lot of arguments about money. But somebody here, you know, kind of uh, acted way too soon, way too quickly. And I feel like that's the reason why right now this person is not able to move away from this emotionally, okay? Now, presently, let's go ahead and clarify your present energies. So let's see what this, what these present energies have here for you. All right, so you have here the devil as well as the seven of wands and you have here the hangman in reverse. So it could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn energy as well. And you have the magician at the bottom of the deck. So currently I feel like there is some kind of toxic energy, codependent energy here. I feel like somebody here is being very, very stubborn. Somebody here is still stuck in their own, in their old way of doing things, okay? It's kind of like you want to keep something stuck or somebody is keeping you stuck by emotionally not letting go, okay? Well, you towards them, them towards you. But I feel like somebody here is not making a sacrifice. This person is not willing or ready to make a sacrifice in order to get what they really want. Why? Because they're stubborn. They're being very, very stubborn. They're stuck in their old ways. And it's kind of like they're stuck in this addictive cycle. Maybe this person is still obsessed, obsessed over you or you're obsessed over them having it their way. They have this obsessive nature to control the outcome, to control the other person and to control the situation. But I feel like right now this person is not willing or ready to make some kind of a sacrifice in order to make something work. However, you also have here the magician, okay? So here with the magician, this is telling you at the bottom of the deck that you actually have it in you in order to transform the situation into something positive, okay? If you do want that, okay? Right now, I feel like somebody might not feel ready, like, oh, I'm not ready, I, I you know, I, I still need this information. But in reality, you already have all of the tools, you have all of the experience, you have all of the lessons in order to basically do whatever it is that you want or create something, manifest something in your life right now. You don't need the help of anybody, okay? Or to get confirmation from, from any place. Now let's go ahead and confirm and clarify your future energies. Let's see more so about your future energies. You do have here, again, the hangman in reverse, okay? The six of pentacles as well as a nine of cups. So your wishes being granted, your wishes being, okay, brought into full fruition. Now, it could be Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but I feel like somebody here in the future is still going to resist some kind of change. However, you will allow help in. Whether you're going to help somebody financially or somebody's going to help you financially, and that's what's going to start this process. I feel like this is going to put you in the right place at the right time, and I feel like you're going to get all of your wishes granted, all of your wishes being fulfilled, and I feel like you and this other person who are meeting each other in the future, you're going to be able to be each other's catalyst. You're going to help each other for your change, for your growth, and for your evolution. So again, whether it's them helping you financially or you're helping them financially, whatever the case may be, I feel like this is going to be emotionally um, fulfilling for you, okay? So I do see you being emotionally fulfilled in the future based on you now wanting to make some kind of a sacrifice to change your own circumstances. Now let's see this other deck to see what the situation is pertaining to. 
so you have here the butterfly relationship is evolving to the next phase okay healing the inner child and growth so there's going to be a chance and an opportunity right now for you to heal yourself to heal that part of you that maybe you know you had been neglecting like i said there was there's a level here where i see that you're financially stable there's a lot of physical type of energy here with regards to stability but emotionally i feel like there still needs to you know you still need to do the work so i feel like you will be putting in the work and the effort into healing and here there is a relationship that is evolving to the next phase and healing the inner child okay so there's going to be an opportunity for you to heal that inner child and for you and or the situation to grow okay now let's see what you have here for your guidance mantra affirmation message you have your council of light divine orchestration you have helpers in the subtle realm so again you have help all around you okay so ask for help to god source energy your guide your angels and they're going to be all around you to help you so again this says here council of light divine orchestration helpers in the subtle realms this is what i have for you this week thank you so much for watching if you want to watch the extended reading the link to that is down in the description box below in the extended reading i go into the other person's subconsciousness their deeper thoughts about you their deeper feelings for you their next actions moves and more and thank you all so so much for all of your positive feedback for the extended reading i am so glad that you guys are loving the extended reading so much so again if you want to check out the link to the extended the link is down in the description box below and i have partnered with psychic source so that you can receive 10 minutes for only 10 dollars plus an additional three minutes for free remember to use my special code 26489 at checkout I'm not the one doing the readings on Psychic Source, but you can choose any psychic of your choice. You can choose to either chat with them online or over the phone. Make sure to click on my special link that is down in the description box below, which will take you to the Psychic Source website. And there, remember to give them my special code 26489 to receive your full discount.